Sutter. This is my wife, Debbie. Hi. How are you? We got Amber over there, our assistant. She's helping out today. <laughs> All right, gang. Today is uh, chest and bicep. We'll be working chest and biceps today. Today's Tuesday, October 2nd. I've got, I'm leaving in 20, 20 days to the contest. The contest is October 27th and 28th in uh, Jeju, Korea for the road championships, the road amateur championships. So I've got approximately uh, 27 more days or 26 more days, somewhere on there, to kick it up and get this body ready to go. So let's uh, take it to it. How are you, Laurie? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, ready to roll? Yes. We'll start off on your favorite movement today. I'm ready. Go to the back. Okay. Can you tell you what you're doing? Ready. Since we got a lot of guys on blitz it. Oh, I'm gonna go one more, maybe one more after this one. One or two more after this. Oh, I got it. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Like, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Alright. Come on. Right. competition in New York and um, Vegas for the USA's and we're training with Chris for his competition in Mr. Universe. <laughs> oh, because I own my own company I can set my hours so <laughs> it works out pretty good. But um, I, uh, Chris's wife Debbie is my training partner and um, they're two of the best. I really enjoy working out with them. Uh, knowledge, definitely. Um, their knowledge, the way um, they live their lives. Um, they believe in, in what they train and teach people and um, it definitely affects affects you as a person, you know, to to be better in the way you um, uh, live your life and, and train, and um, it's all about balance, having balance in your life. Oh uh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Come on, universe. All you are, you go. Okay, Jack. Let's go. Up. Drive. Let's go. Push up. Come on. Man. Let's go. Come on. Lightweight. Lightweight. Up. Up. Cut. Stay in there. Come on. 
Baby, gotta move. wife and we've known each other for about oh I think it's about eight, nine years now eight nine years and I hired him uh, I got to meet him and get to know him because I hired him as my trainer when I was competing in fitness competitions uh, when I was competing on the national level and um, we just got to know each other for a while and uh, started hanging out and I started working for him and then um, we've actually been married now for almost two years It'll be two years in October 23rd. Chris is a um, extremely passionate, uh, generous, motivated, um, one of the best people I know. Easy, Chester. Easy. Good. Good. Uh, name's Chaki Kuta. I've been training with Chris for about uh, four years or so, uh, mainly on Saturdays. Uh, we do back together, we have our own group. Uh, occasionally I'll come in on throughout the weekday to help him with chest and shoulders. Uh, I've known Chris, I've known, I've known of Chris since I was in high school, probably about 90, 93, 94. Uh, seen him train hard in the gym every day. Um, trains hard, he is healthy, uh, he's a good person. Uh, lots of fans and um, uh, enjoy working out with him. Um, and we push each other pretty hard. Um, he's constantly giving it his, his 100% and um, I'm happy that he won the overall at the 07 Team Universe, and I wish him the best of luck at the Team Universe in Korea. Chris and Debbie's hairstylist. I own my own business. I've been training with Chris about three years now. Um, I've been his training partner for two and a half years. I enjoy training with Chris. Um, he's given me the opportunity to enter my first contest last year, the Paradise Cup, which I placed first in the lightweight novice division. For the contest, Chris helped me with my diet, my posing, my choreography for my um, posing routine. Um, he was there for me throughout the whole thing. Um, I'm happy to be with him through the universe and for him going to Korea in a few weeks.
go, Shiny Boy.
Okay. What do you mean? Urban Bowl, same place. Anywhere. So I've been using this uh, for the Team Universe. It's a uh, straight waxy maze with some glutamine. And I'm uh, trying to keep as much size as possible here. So I take this drink, I work out. It doesn't have any flavor. It actually tastes uh, kind of like cornstarch with water. Pretty gross, but uh, whatever works, right?
here. I usually, well, for my style, I usually wear about two, three shirts. Even though we're in Hawaii, I just have a tendency to like to stay warm. And um, rarely do I show any type of body part while I'm training. I just try to stay focused and visualize what I'm trying to accomplish in the gym and has to get a major pump as quickly as possible. Right now I'm pretty lean, so I'm not trying to uh, torture the muscle. I'm just trying to get blood in there and uh, keep it in there and try to maintain as much muscle size as possible. As you can see that uh, I'm keeping my reps down to maybe eight to 10 reps. I'm not going overboard. I don't want to string out like I usually do heading into the show. I'm trying to keep my fullness. As you heard my uh, posing goal set, I need to stay as full as possible and chisel it down only at the end, the last three days. Um, I'm maintaining some good decency of uh, strength, so I feel pretty good. I'm not gonna push it. I know this is for the video, but I'm gonna stay within myself and uh, just train the way I should be training for this show and not get carried away. I don't wanna get injured at this time. I'm not no Ronnie Coleman is gonna put up 800 pounds. I'm only 168 pounds and uh, what you see is what you get. 100% is natural. Today's about, I uh, say about 82 in Hawaii and uh, it stays here like this year round. Uh, maybe it's just not my style to walk around with a tank top on. I know the other bodybuilders feel the same way. You know, they hopefully they seem modest and uh, humble. <laughs> a lot of people say when the camera's on, I kind of come out of the shell, but uh, it's showtime. This is a big show for me. It's a goal that I've always tried to accomplish, and I came close with it with 1994 and 95, coming as close as second place. But I feel I got a more mature physique this year, and uh, I'm gonna take it to it, take it to Korea. Hopefully, bring back uh, the U.S. gold medal. I got one more set in this barbell curl. I'm gonna go up to the 90s for another set of 10. Uh, I'm gonna play with it. We'll stay within uh, good control and just feel these arms getting blown up as soon as my wife gets out of the way. Come on, Chad, You seen that song <laughs> John Ray's my buddy. We competed against each other in uh, the Teen Nationals back in 95. Wait, you 85, I'm sorry. And that's how long I've been at it, since 85. My first competition was back in 83. So I've been at it this quite some time now. Oh, 
I just got one more set of this uh, preacher curl. I'm gonna do some abdominals and then some cardio. I'll be doing 40 minutes of cardio today. I do uh, cardio five times a week at 40 minute sessions, that's about it. Like I said, I'm trying to preserve as much as I can. And I felt like 40 minutes is uh, just enough. Uh, just once a day, once a day.
Gang, that's all she wrote today. That's day one, chest and bicep and abs. We'll be back tomorrow for some. What are we training tomorrow, gang? I think we're doing some. I think we're doing some deadlifts and some back, maybe some deadlifts and odds and ends. Keeping us side, so I deadlift down to the end of to the show, just for the overall mass. Since I'm a small guy. <laughs> Thank you, and we'll be back tomorrow. Do that cardio 40 minutes five times a week get it shredded I'm just keeping this on manual pace and this bike right here is a weird angle where it hits the quad at a certain angle so it really puts pressure on the medialis when I'm pushing my feet out catching the inner teardrop so as you notice I'm pushing down like a leg press. I'm doing millions and millions of leg presses. It's a really tough bike. I usually like to do this in the treadmill right behind me. Those are my two favorites. So I'm gonna just stick with the bike for 40 minutes and call it a day. Yeah. Ah. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but the elliptical is uh, probably the easiest cardio equipment in the gym. Some may bigger to differ, but for me, it's like um, not intense enough for cardio. So I kind of stay away from the elliptical. 
they made that for people with bad knees. So it's a, just a gliding motion, simulating a running action. I'm pretty fortunate to, to have some good knees, so I'm just gonna stick with this bike right here. This way. Very good. Oh, I am the Alta Aliata. Five weeks every day, five days a week. I like it. I never did it before. I thought it was men's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, Chris is, uh, you know, so much energy and so precise, and so I trust him. So I come every day. And I bring my son. We have two different problems. I have to lose weight and he has to gain muscle. So I have to become, you know, like more tough like that. And he has to have the muscle. So we have two different problems, but he is taking care of both. I need to go pick up my kids, my two dogs. How yummy is that, huh? <laughs> Eat some jas jasmine rice, and I limit myself to one huge of rice and the way to get it in there is to kind of smash it down so you can get a little more and pack it there and that's all I'm eating for dinner tonight is it's, that's all the carbs I'm allowed is one cup of rice so this is the key to the entire thing is uh, getting this green tea and making chazuke okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna put my green tea bag on my rice. That's dinner. My protein and my fibrous carbs. 
and then I got my tea and rice in the micro which is my carbohydrates for tonight and that's what I eat for dinner that's what I've been eating for the last seven months yummy so I'm alternating within steak and chicken every day Monday Wednesday Friday is uh, 12 ounces of steak for lunch and dinner with green beans and then another cup of rice and on Tuesday Thursday Saturdays and Sundays I'm going with uh, 12 ounces of chicken for lunch and dinner also with another cup of rice at each meal. This is my favorite though. Tea and rice, green tea and rice. If you haven't have a try that, give it a try. So after a long day of work, I come home and uh, look forward to this meal. Like I said, I've been doing this for the last seven months chicken breast and tea rice mmm mmm as bodybuilders say they don't eat for taste they eat for fuel fuel their, fuel their bodies but I need some taste so Tomorrow I'll show you how to marinate this chicken. I'll show you how I cook this chicken. So you can tolerate it for seven months. <laughs> As you can see, my wife um, gave, gave up after uh, I think three months on the diet and decided to buy food tonight with her glass of Chardonnay. <laughs> so here, see you, her sunshine. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby. <laughs> I just got, what do we have? 26 more days to go? Yep, 26 more days. Don't mind me, this is unbelievable right here. A little more of the green tea in there. Nice and hot, jasmine rice, green tea. Perfect. So for the final meal of the night, it's my uh, ode. It's all egg whites. I'm gonna be doing um, 24 egg whites. I'm gonna eat 12 in about five minutes and I'm gonna save 12 for tomorrow's breakfast. So that means I'm eating 24 eggs every single day for the last, again, seven months. And the reason why I don't use egg beaters or egg substitute is because um, of price, much cheaper. And I found the easiest way to do this is get down and dirty. <laughs> That's one. Good source of protein. But it's quick and easy to make and very cheap. I say there's about though three grams in every one, so that's perfect for tonight. And all you need is a good spatula. A good Teflon pan, Pam, and a good spatula. Let's get that yolk out of there. We, need no, we don't need no fat. Because as they say, you can't flex fat. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is just lay that all out like this. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Take it off the stove. I'm just gonna let it cook just like that. For about a minute. I'm gonna get a Tupperware container for tomorrow. 
Let's see. That'll work. I'm trying to make life as simple as possible. I showed you the nice plates. Now for tonight, since I already washed all the dishes, <laughs> I got the paper plate for tonight. And there you go, that's 12 egg whites. And this other half is going on this plate. And I'm eating that tonight. That's gonna be my last meal for the night. Yummy. I like to give it a little kick to my egg whites. So I'm gonna be putting some of this Kikoman soy sauce on my eggs, which is super high in sodium. And egg whites are very high in sodium. And that's exactly what I want uh, going into the show. And all I do three days off on the contest is eliminate my egg whites and the sodium, which is a soy sauce. And I'm gonna replace that with boiled chicken breasts and jump in on distilled water. And that's gonna kind of shock my body and shrink back my skin. So what you're seeing in the gym is um, tons of sodium. That's why I'm sweating so much in the gym. And that's what makes the muscles contract. So that's what I need right now is a high sodium um, diet as we prepare. I'm still three and a half weeks out, so I gotta keep my sodium content pretty high. And that's uh, how I'm getting my energy in the gym. Eat a scoop of peanut butter with each meal. And the reason why I'm doing that now is because um, I'm trying to keep as much muscle mass on myself as possible. I dieted for a long time this year and I felt myself stringing out the last uh, three, four weeks ago and then my trainer said, uh, Eric Yamashita said, add some fats into my diet, which I've been doing every meal. And this here is a lifesaver. It not only tastes good, but it's actually helping myself get a little harder and fuller and bigger. So tomorrow with a posing session, you'll take a look and I guarantee you this right here is the trick going into the show. I'll probably eliminate this maybe three days out from the competition also to really get myself grainy and hard. But as for now, I still need some fats in me so I don't get that uh, stringy, depleted look. I don't want that right now. I need that full uh, muscle bellies, and I think this right here is keeping me going. So for my last meal of the night, it's going to be my 12 egg whites or my soy sauce and a large scoop of peanut butter. So, as you can see, I'm not starving, but I'm hungry. <laughs> I could eat 50 more of these with no problem. Hmm. Every last bite. Okay. That's it. And here's snack. So this is just plain organic dry roasted peanuts with sea salt. And that's about how much I'm gonna be eating every meal. Mmm. Wow, that's a lifesaver right here. A lot of people in the gym see me eating peanut butter and said, I thought you're on a diet, you know? I keep telling them that everybody's body's um, different and my metabolism is just so quick now. And if I didn't eat any types of fats, probably end up in the bantamweight class. <laughs> and I don't want that. So this is keeping my weight up. I probably we have about 168 today, which is fairly low. 
because I compete at 165, that's a cutoff. Hmm. That's it. I could eat that whole jar though. But then I'll end up in the heavyweight class. <laughs> so until tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., which will be the exact same meal, but I'll mix that peanut butter into my oatmeal will be the only difference. And let me tell you, that is good. Oatmeal and peanut butter, yummy. In fact, that's what I carb up on and uh, fat load on backstage and probably leading into the show. That's a good combination for me, oatmeal and peanut butter. So I'm using what I'm gonna be using straight into the show. And um, hopefully it works again this time. So to tomorrow, over and out. <laughs>